Bonjour, Mossen. Je me fais surprise. Comment tu? Euh, bien. Et vous? Très bon. Um, Parlez-vous anglais? The first thing I noticed when watching your gameplay was the Mossen okay. dance. Um, uh, it's uh, defensive. Defensive? Yes. Okay. And then. And when when the 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 uh, the destroy class uh, surprise me, uh, I, I can attack them uh, faster. Okay, I've also noticed um, when I keep my drones out in front, it's also good against uh, other overseer and also overlord as well, because you get that little head start. Yes. Um, uh, but uh, Overlord uh, is uh, less de defensive because uh, he has uh, a lot of uh, spawn drones. Yeah. The second thing I noticed was how clean most of your kills were. When you went in to make a kill, you got the kill mm -hmm. done quite efficiently. <laughs> yes. I started playing in May uh, through so uh, through. 2016 and I played deep because I was enjoying killing baby tanks and farming like every noob <laughs> okay uh, so I understand that uh, Overlord is your favorite tank why yes why do you like Overlord so much I think uh, I started using Overlord because it's the best tank in the game and killing players was easy with it I become better at Overlord because I always practice it. Okay. Um, also, I have some questions about the run of your three meter overseer. Okay. Okay. Uh, who's the unnamed Overlord? Uh, Two point one million. And did the other uh -huh. fighter reach one million uh after you died? Uh, the Unabed Overlord was my friend Unabed uh, Assassin, and yes, the uh, the fighter has have uh, reached one million fighter be using anti ram. Ah, he's using a anti ram build. Okay, interesting. Um, now I'm going to ask you a question that has been a little controversial for you but i think mm -hmm. it's important that we do ask the hard questions but you shared okay. you shared a link when you wanted to protect your world record and you told me that you it was 3 a.m and you had to go to sleep what are your thoughts on that about sharing uh... I think uh, I am not gonna do it uh, another time because uh, he is my friend and I regret. Okay, good to hear. I'm, I'm not gonna do it uh, again. Again. Okay. Um, book thirteen was the unnamed annihilator in your in your run that I recorded. And Giraffe has also made a video, which I'm going to show at the end, using an annihilator. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, what? Vuk13 was the, an unnamed annihilator when, who killed you, who got you killed at the end mm -hmm. of your run and giraffe was also has made a video and he was an annihilator as well what do you think about that you're talking about my death about what about i'm talking about your death yes um uh, i did because the i broke it in the walls and my friend uh, giraffe killed me uh, he killed my drones, uh, but he, the smasher killed me. Yes. And which leads me to my next question is, 
you are a very well accomplished overlord and overseer player. How did you get so good? Uh, I become good because I practice it uh, every day, all the time. Uh, I don't use uh, another tanks. Okay, so who are who are the other players that um, you you practice with? Uh, uh, right now or uh, before? Um, bef before when you were learning. Uh, I was watching uh, Adasbas uh, vi videos. Okay. Uh, the the three million point two hundred overlord and i watched it uh, like 15 times because uh, i love it but and then after uh, that video uh, i start i started uh, playing uh, overlord series and uh, and used to play every day okay who did you also train with in game, or did you go to Sandbox? You trained with some people there. Who were your Who were your friends that you, you uh, trained with in Sandbox? Uh, before uh, in 2016, I was in in a clan of Morocco, and I was practicing with uh, them uh, every day in Sandbox, uh, in Team Deathmatch, and. We, we had uh, fun yeah. and then uh, in and then uh, in two, uh, 2017 uh, I played uh, uh, free for R uh, a lot uh, I did I didn't play it uh, sandbox uh, in, in start of uh, 2017 like uh, because uh, there there isn't uh, an update about it okay. And then uh, when uh, I created the Discord, uh, uh, I also to, uh, to be friend with uh, Giroff. And we started playing Team Deathmatch together. Uh, we practice in Sandbox. Uh, we played a lot together. And then Psycho, uh, we created uh, a group, me, Giraffe, and Psycho together. We played together, and we got so we got some uh, hair score, and it was fun. Yes. And and then uh, when uh, Psycho and Giraffe kid Jeb, uh, I started playing uh, free for all uh, like uh, before because. Uh, I was sad because uh, they kicked, and I was playing uh, solo. So, and then, so giraffe uh, and, and then uh, after some, so giraffe and psycho quit deep. How long ago did they quit deep? Hmm. So giraffe and psycho quit deep. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah, he cut. He kicked. Okay. When when did he quit? Do you know? Do you remember? Uh, uh, in start of uh, uh, two thousand eighteen. Oh, okay. Some some as a uh, giraffe. They quit in the same day. Wow. So uh, that was sad I, for me. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. Do you think they have really quit, or are they still playing, or they don't play very much? Uh, they quit. Okay. They quit. I have seen a uh, I have seen a uh, psycho in FFI two uh, two times, but he he never uh, played uh, a lot. Okay. So and are you planning to quit? Uh, huh? Are you gonna Are you planning to quit, or you want to continue playing? Uh, I will continue playing. And uh, after uh, Psycho and Giraffe kit kited Jeb, uh, uh, 
I played like four, five, six men, uh, months uh, solo, and and then uh, I was, uh, I practiced it with uh, Pentagonies, uh, Endless, uh, Panic, uh, uh, Assassin. Uh, Stratpult uh, Suka sometimes uh, and now and now uh, I am practicing with uh, Superhero Triple H Hydra uh, in Sandbox and Ma Maz okay and the the rest uh, when i play a team this match when i play uh, four team four team this match uh, uh, i uh, it's rare i play with a friend but when uh, i play uh, two this uh, team this match uh, uh, i think uh, i always uh, play uh, play with uh, some friends for doing the tour tournament Okay. Because if uh, 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 I don't get uh, a friend to kill my team, uh, uh, I can't. Uh, I can't score. My team go, uh, will stay uh, dominating. So you get that's um, all. Your friends to go on the other team to be able to kill uh, people my on team, your right? team to to keep the server even. Yes. Yes. Very smart. Okay, is there anything else we should talk about? Oh, we should talk about, about like we should talk about your achievements. Like, how how many millions uh, have you achieved? How many two millions? What's your fastest scores? That kind of thing. My fastest uh, time ratio. Uh, ratio. Uh, I have got uh, uh, six six hundred thousand. Uh, in in eleven minutes, and my fastest uh, fastest million I got it uh, in uh, 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 mm, twenty nine minutes, isn't it? Twenty twenty nine twenty nine minutes. Yes, my fastest. Uh, seems very fast. Is that a world record? Uh, it was the world record, but but uh, uh, and then uh, animal uh, broke it in twenty nine uh, minutes. Okay. And uh, so, how many one millions have you had? I think it's one hundred over one hundred and fifty, right? Yes. How many two millions do you have? Uh, thirteen or uh, fourteen. Okay, and how about three millions? How many three millions have you had? Three times. Okay. I have three times the three millions. So, what's your next goal? What do you want to achieve after this? I want to do the overseer uh, for Team Deathmatch World Record and overseer 3 4 R World Record and I think that's all. Okay. Well, uh, uh, I want uh, four million with overload. Yes. Uh, in three for all. Okay, that's going to be difficult. Yes. Uh, I did the uh, answer with three million three hundred, but. Uh, uh, I noticed that uh, the 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 score uh, become uh, from the comes from uh, the easy server, not because uh, the 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 rarer, uh, not because uh, the skills skills uh, help, but but uh, it, it doesn't uh, decide if you are gonna reach uh, some score or something. Okay, so. Of course, you got to be skilled, but you have to be getting a server that al allows you yes. to get the score. 
Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, yeah. I have something to, to say. Yes. In, in like uh, five minutes Go. for the video. It's, uh, about the, about the at, video? Yes, it's uh, at five minutes and tw uh, 12, uh, yes. 20 seconds. Yes. Uh, look at the uh, annihilator. Uh, he surprised me, but uh, like you see, my drones uh, doesn't uh, stop uh, at me. Uh, I always uh, keep attacking for... Yeah. Yeah, well, that's very, uh, very smart. Looks like you 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 kept his distance so he couldn't get too close to you. Yes, uh, I have to push him, and then uh, I couldn't uh, continue. Yeah, well, it's it's also a little bit of luck there that he missed you. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, another time, uh, but I forgot the time. Okay, well, d just try and find it. Okay. See, my first reaction would have been when somebody attacked like that was to get my drones in front of me to block it. But mm -hmm. going by what you're doing, that's not the best tactic in that situation. The best thing you could do was actually to just push him away so that gives you time yes. to dodge any annihilator bullet because he's going to be at a further distance from you. So... That's something that I'm going to take with me in my game when I have mm -hmm. an annihilator is not always do the blocking, but also defend by attacking. Uh, I suppose mm -hmm. you could say. So yeah, the, very smart. Like uh, the example says, uh, the best uh, defense is uh, That's right. attack. That's right. Um, you might want to comment on... Uh, my view on there's a situation when you well i would call baiting the fighter so you had some helpers around so you pushed your drones onto the other side of the fighter so the fighter was tempted mm -hmm. to come to attack you um mm -hmm. you baited him a bit too much which can happen sometimes it's a fine line sometimes between life and death but you do need to keep scoring what are your thoughts on on yes that? You're... like you see uh i don't attack him and then in the real time in the best time uh, i attack him with the off fear yeah um that that's something that i've been uh using more often in my gameplay after watching your video too um it's normally when i'm defending against the fighter i like to keep mm -hmm. keep him at distance but the problem with that is he doesn't want to come into attack so you might not get the kill you're just defending mm -hmm. so your mm -hmm. tactic of letting him come in close and then swinging your drones back towards him at a with acceleration mm -hmm. he he has a good chance of dying and that's really what you want to achieve Again, the best defense is sometimes attack. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, there's a, three things I'm going to take away from watching your video is the moss and dance, moss and dance. <laughs> I've been practicing the moss and dance, and it actually has proven helpful in game because it does keep your drones a little bit further forward, except for one time when I pushed them a little bit too far forward and then a rammer came straight down, a little baby rammer, and killed me. So I wasn't mm -hmm. happy about that. But yes, <laughs> the second one is what you had talked about was with the annihilator shooting at you. Instead of just trying to protect with the drones in front of you, sometimes the best form mm -hmm. of defense is attack, and also with the fighter. So I think people who watch this will also practice keeping yes getting the kills done as quickly as they can getting the clean kill getting the drones far enough around the outside of the player to finish them off in the first repel and that's something that you've practiced and done many times 
But something that I've also noticed with your gameplay is mm -hmm. you attack when it's a good time to attack. You keep moving on when you don't feel comfortable. So what separates a, a, a really good pro from, mm -hmm. from the regular player who's actually skilled mm -hmm. is being smart in game. It's knowing when to go in for the kill. It's knowing when to keep moving and it's knowing when to run away. And mm -hmm. I noticed that you do those three things very well. And uh, <laughs> thanks. I'm just watching the the part now where you where you've you didn't actually kill the fighter, but you um you did what you would normally do to kill it. It just depends on the skill of the fighter and how aggressive mm -hmm. the fighter is, and whether you get the kill. Yes. Okay. You are so aggressive. aggressive. Uh, I am thinking. I am thinking. Uh, he is. Uh... No, I won't say it. <laughs> you think he is? You're hoping he's noob. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I wish that I was able to play in a two-team server like yours it's seemed like it was a pleasure to play in and mm -hmm. congratulations on your achievements and i wish you well for the future to be able to achieve what you want to achieve with the world records Hi. thank you for yes thank you for being a good sport and answering some of these questions no problem thanks okay for the interview Okay, well, I'll see you in the sandbox. Ah, see you. The the last thing I gonna say bye to the players who gonna watch it, and Mohsen best overall, as Mohsen best overlord. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Well, guys, thanks for listening to the first player profile interview. I've got videos coming up, including one of a couple of runs that Warrior did and his suicides at 500k, and also a run, 2 million run that Misto did. Also, I'm going to have some more footage of Overlord versus Fighter, just to show you the superiority of Overlord if there's no other variable so it's just overlord versus fighter and also i'm going to have that a sandbox with um, uh, the singapore crew such as jeshin and mg pro sistine abzu which i did a while back now but i think it's worth watching now about this sandbox we did and um, we did it in la because it's uh, Mossens in uh, France and we're in Australia so we did it in, in Los Angeles because I normally get 200 ms but I was getting like 220 for some reason sometimes you get better and worse ping and oh, Aspect lives in Outback Australia so his ms is uh, 300 at least and he's starting to get better at uh, bad ping. Mossen's got around about 200 to 220. I don't remember exactly what he had. So, the sandbox is a really good way to get better quickly. And One of the kind of the tips that I can give, which took me a long time to learn by myself, was you repel your drones and you repel your drones in a, a spread formation and you move them around. So you move your mouse left to right, left to right, but you don't repel too far and you keep bringing them back and move them side to side. But what I used to do is bring them back to me and then repel again. 
But what that does, it gives the, uh, your opposition um, the ability to come in close to you. Um, and if he has an idea where you are, then he, he's going to get the advantage. So you kind of leave them out there and in a spread formation. And so when they're moving and when you, you sight them, then you bring all the drones to where they are. And if they go back out of sight again, you spread them to the possible locations where they are. Or you can, different ways you can do things by putting your drones to the outside, or either outside where they could possibly be and then kind of herd them to the center. That can work sometimes, uh, as long as they don't get past your plan. And sometimes you can uh, repel from the center and then move your tank, say down the left hand side, but have your mouse pushing them from the center. So they don't know you're coming down the left hand side and then sometimes you can get the kill then and it's difficult to know because you fake your positioning it's often very difficult to know where the other player is but you s you play it a lot of times you start to get a feel for it now a lot of these same skills you do use in game not so expansive as you do here because it becomes dangerous but if you're below, uh, let's see if you're having a fight and you're, you're on the right, your opponent's on the left, you repel at them, you bring your your drones back and you go off screen, you bring your, your drones back to where you were, but you might circle around underneath and then bring your drones back and then come back up at them and they're already repelling to the right and sometimes you can catch your opponent out that way. I kind of first learned those skills when I was versing RIS um, as I was starting to get better with with Overlord and he tricked me he he did exactly that he went to the right and I thought he was there I was had my drones ready repelling a bit to the right and boom he came in from underneath and killed me so a, a lesson learned and um, yeah you're faking a your position and possibly as other in-game play I'm going to show you in the future videos exactly what I'm doing with that. It's basically taking it to the next level from semi-pro to pro, I guess. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and Also, I'm going to have a video when I make it a bit more interesting of myself killing the Fallen Booster in Sandbox with all different kinds of tanks. So with attempting to kill it with Overseer, with uh, Auto Trapper and Battleship and what do I five I think but yeah a bunch of different tanks um, but on the first edit it's looking pretty damn boring I have to figure out how to fast forward sections of it I'm not really an editing pro I'm gonna die here but yeah I'm still learning um, but yes I can mix it with the world's best but you don't stop learning. It's so much to learn in this game and it keeps you interested. Just when you think you've arrived and you've got this talent, someone comes along and teaches you a lesson. Or you learn something new. And more so the Overlord than with other tanks, I find. There's just more dynamics. But another tank is with a lot to learn is this factory there's so much to learn with factory it's harder to learn than overlord and it's such a powerful tank when you do learn it and uh, but yeah fighter is the other one it's practice 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 but uh, at the moment i'm just getting a bit bored with fighter because i'm enjoying the the domination that you get with with overlord
Okay, I made a mistake there. Alright, well, enjoy the rest of watching these 1v1s with one of the world's best players, Mossen. And as I said, coming up, there's a run that Misto did, a couple of short runs that Warrior did, and Zach did a run. He his run finished about 4 a.m. He fell asleep, nearly fell asleep while playing, and noobed out. Let's, let's say so he didn't get the one million that he was aiming for. But I can't remember the exact score. It was about 800k. But yeah, it's still um, good enough to just get a feel of his of his gameplay. Um, I actually went in there as a unnamed fighter and versed him. Not to kill him, but to to uh, to test him because of uh, I haven't versed him in sandbox that I can remember. So yeah, it was a good test, and um, I didn't kill him, and he didn't kill me. It was uh, it was good fun. Catches.